In this next tutorial, we're going to take a look at how to calculate uh, the yearly uh, net benefit or cost, and then also how to calculate the overall net present value. So you, you'll see, um, kind of picking up for, from where we left off last time, I went ahead and uh, filled in uh, the benefits section of the worksheet using a process uh, similar to uh, to what we used in um, uh, to fill out the costs section of the worksheet. Uh, so you should be able to, to fill out the benefits section on your own. Um, th this is something that, that's expected uh, of you uh, when completing this assignment. All right, so uh, continuing on, um, you should also uh, spend a little bit of time uh, formatting your cells, um, making the, uh, the worksheet uh, appearance, uh, you know, making it look attractive and, and readable and presentable. Um, so in this case I have chosen currency and I'm highlighting negative numbers in red. And um, I'm also showing four decimal places for the present value factor and zero decimal places uh, for all of the costs. I would suggest um, following a similar format in your worksheet as well. So our, our next step is to calculate um, our overall net present value and, and then also the, the yearly uh, net benefit or cost, uh, you know, given the, the, the particular circumstances. So our, our um, yearly net benefit or cost you can think of as for a given year, what's the, the, the net benefit or cost um, taking into account the time value of money. So, so we want to look at, and, and in this particular case, all we're doing is taking the difference between the present value of the benefits for the given year and subtracting from that the present value of costs for the given year. So I'm going to uh, enter a formula. I tell Excel uh, I want to put in a formula. I type the equals sign, and it's just a, a very simple, straightforward formula. I'm going to take the difference between the present value of our benefits in year zero and I'm going to subtract, or in this case add, because costs are negative. So that means we have to, to add if we want the difference. And so I'm going to add to our benefits uh, the present value of costs, which are found in cell C9. So for my net benefit for year zero, all it is is cell C14 plus cell C9. I press return or enter and you'll see I get a, a negative $3.375 million, which looks pretty good. Um, so by now you should be very comfortable with the autofill feature and you should immediately think, hey, this is a, a great situation to use autofill. So let's go ahead and, and um, you know see if we can just click and drag and fill in the rest of the cells. So I'm gonna go ahead and left click one time in the lower right corner. I'm gonna hold and I'm going to go ahead and drag it out uh, to year 20 and then I'm going to let up. Alright, and uh, I'm just going to kind of check a particular cell to make sure it looks like it's, you know, to see if it's doing the right thing. And yeah, here it looks pretty good. So it's taking, um, you know, for year 19, it's taking the present value of all of our benefits for year 19 and, um, you know, adding or, or taking the difference uh, of the costs. Uh, the present value of costs in year 19. And so that, that formula looks pretty good. All right, so now we've, we've actually filled out um, row 16, which, which is our, our yearly benefit or cost, um, taking into account the time value of money. Um, there, there are a couple of things I want to highlight at this point. Um, one, you know, looking at the present value factor, you can see you know how much it decreases as we move uh, uh, much farther out on our timeline, and and so so this is actually saying um, that uh, you know for example um, a dollar uh, today um, is worth much much more than than a dollar uh, sixteen years from today, and and specifically you know if we were to receive a dollar sixteen years from today it would only be worth about 25 cents or a quarter given our discount rate of 9%. So that, that's a, a kind of a pretty amazing uh, uh, observation when, when you start to think about 
um, just looking at the time value of money over a, a, a very lengthy period of time and, and how, it, how much it discounts uh, future cash flows. All right, so uh, for our uh, final uh, step in this particular worksheet, we need to calculate our overall net present value. And this is, a, again, a pretty simple, pretty straightforward uh, formula. Um, for overall net present value, all we're going to do is sum up all of the yearly net benefits that we just calculated in row 16. So to, to get the sum I'm interested in, I'm going to enter a formula. I press equals. That tells Excel a formula is coming. In this case, I'm going to use the, uh, the sum function and I'm going to provide uh, the range of cells I would like to sum which is C16 and then I'm going to go ahead and go out to uh, year 20 which is W16 so my formula is sum C16 colon W16 I close my parenthesis I press enter and now I have my overall net present value and, and intuitively, this, this should make some sense. So our, our overall net present value is just the present value of all benefits minus the present value of all costs, taking into account the time value of money. So on, on row 16, we calculated all of the, the yearly uh, you know, differences between our benefits and costs. And, and so that means to get our overall net present value, we just need to, to sum up or, or add um, those yearly amounts together and this gives us our, our grand total. Alright, so now we have our grand total, our grand overall net present value, and we see for this particular example with a 9% discount rate, it's um, what just over 5.3 million. And, and we, we should take, I want to take a moment here to talk about how we interpret this number. Um, if the overall net present value is zero or greater for the given discount rate, that means the benefits outweigh the costs taking into account the time value of money and we should go ahead and move forward with the project. If our overall net present value is negative for the given discount rate, that means uh, the benefits do not outweigh the costs and, and given our discount rate and projected costs and benefits taking into account the time value of money, we should not move forward with the project. So um, at the end of the day, th this number, this overall net present value, is what you're going to use uh, to make the decision as to whether or not to move forward with implementing SAP. Um, you're, you'll be given a, a series of questions uh, in, in part two uh, of your case analysis that you're going to be responsible for answering. And to answer those questions, uh, you're going to need to interpret uh, th this overall net present value and, and what it means. Um, so, so once again, if overall net present value is zero or greater, it's a green light, move forward with the project. If overall net present value is negative, it's a thumbs down, um, you don't move forward with the project. Okay? And, and so this is a, a very common technique. It, it's a, a cost-benefit analysis taking into account the time value of money. All right, and this concludes uh, this portion of the tutorials. Thank you.